Introduction to Green Chemistry. This is uh, a course that I hope you will find to be uh, like no other chemistry course that you've taken. Be ready to encounter atoms and molecules. Be ready to encounter that we're going to get into transformations. We're going to have to understand the molecular structures. I, I mentioned you're going to want to encounter long, unpronounceable names of chemicals. So that for those of you uh, for which this is your first chemistry course or, um, or haven't taken chemistry in a long time, we have geared up to make sure that we're able to scrape off that rust. For those of you who uh, have not been in, in chemistry, uh, we have the, the, the background to make sure that everybody has the tools of chemistry uh, that uh, that'll be necessary to have these discussions. Uh, it does mean that if you haven't been exposed to chemistry in a while, that you're going to really want to focus, focus, focus on some of the background readings, the, the discussions that are, that are going to be run by, uh, uh, by our team. Uh, we'll give you everything you need, but that's one that you don't want to mail in. Uh, you're going to want to know about your molecules and your transformations, okay? Uh, all right, so it's a chemistry course. Period, end of report? Not quite. So it's an environmental sustainability course, okay? What this means is that we're going to be exploring what, what sustainability means and what that has to do with chemi chemistry what that has to do with chemicals. We're going to uh, try to understand sustainability or unsustainability at the molecular level. What is it about the inherent nature of the materials, the chemicals, products, processes, systems that are going to make things either sustainable or unsustainable? So understanding those frameworks um, uh, will be important. Uh, it's a wide range of environmental and energy issues. Uh, I, I won't go, I, I'm always tempted when we're doing this general discussion, I'm always tempted to dive down and get into, uh, I'm, so I'm pulling back because it's so tempting. I love this stuff. Um, the course will place chemicals uh, and, and our daily life and our society in context, okay? Um, because some of you are acutely aware of chemicals in our life and the role they play in society. Some of us just never think of it. Some of us never con consider what a chemical is or, or what it does. Okay. And it is an analysis course. So, there are questions that are, that are asked all of the time about is one product going to be harmful versus another? Uh, is one source of energy actually beneficial? Is, uh, is a particular material or a particular type of technology, such as nano, uh, what is it that I need to be concerned, ab concerned about? You have been, as has the whole public been, surrounded by hand-waving arguments. Labels that this is green, this is sustainable, this is new and improved. I mean, it's just, there's not a whole lot of rigor out there in most of the claims that are made. By the end of this course, what should you expect? You should expect that you will be able to rigorously look at uh, a situation involving chemicals, materials, and be able to, to ask the questions do evaluations, know where to go for your data sources, and come to some logical, defensible analysis about who's telling the truth. Even if the truth is, well, you know, it's really complex and there's trade-offs and there's some good things here and there's some good things there, at least you're going to be able to rigorously understand and analyze that. All right, so what are we trying to achieve? By the end of the course, you'll have uh, an understanding of uh, what chemicals and chemical transformations, the transformation process of, of chemicals, and their role in society and the economy. 
We're going to be doing that pretty early on. Um, and you're going to want to be able to analyze uh, what it is and also be able to inform, at least thoughtfully inform, the, the direction and improvement of the design of next generation products, processes, systems. Okay. Questions? Okay. All right. Why take this course? I, this is a, a real question. Name everything in the room that is not. Uh, uh, sorry, name everything in the room that's a chemical. Can anyone name everything in the room that's a chemical? I see a head shaking. No. Why can't you? Thank you. All right. Name everything in the room that's not a chemical. Let's try and go the other way. Everything in the room that's not a chemical. I hear nothing. Anybody? There we go. <laughs> OK. So the light, you might argue brain waves, but those are induced by chemicals. Uh, you you want to say heat, there's heat in here, maybe you, so some energy forms. Yeah. But the point being made that, um, so why do you want to take this course? Because everything is a chemical, and we're going to dive down into this. Um, and if you absolutely love the status quo, if you love the way things are today, whether it's our products, processes, systems, the degree of efficiency of the way things work, that you want to make sure that we lock things in exactly as they are today, then you don't want to care about any of the materials and chemicals that are there. If, however, you think maybe there's a little bit of room for improvement, maybe there's a little room for innovation, maybe you actually want to design products, design the world, impact things like, oh, say, drinking water or, or nutrition, or, and you want to do it in a positive way, you darn well better understand what the building blocks are and how you manipulate those building blocks to design them differently. Make sense?